CAS successfully develops all solid state DDUV lithography technology. Breaking Western chip manufacturing shackles. Breaking the mold. Why are monopoly giants drastically cutting prices? Why do small devices outperform large machines? On the international stage of technological competition, chip manufacturing technology has always been a strategic high ground crucial to a nation's core competitiveness. Looking back, the path of China's chip industry development has been fraught with challenges. In 2018, the United States initiated the Export Control Reform Act, cutting off ASML's supply of EUV lithography machines to China citing national security concerns, directly choking off advanced processes below 7 nanometers. Japanese companies like Shinetsu Chemical and Tokyo Oka have long monopolized over 80% of the global high-end photoresist market. Their KRF photoresist, indispensable in semiconductor manufacturing, has been subject to strict technology blockades against China. Germany's Carl Zeiss, with a century of optical expertise, controls over 90% of the market share for core optical lenses in lithography machines, with import restrictions on precision lenses making it difficult for domestically produced lithography machines to overcome resolution bottlenecks. Under the superposition of multiple technological barriers, China's integrated circuit self-sufficiency rate has long remained below 10%. Not only are core chips for smartphones and servers reliant on imports, but even mid to low end chips in fields like automotive electronics and industrial control are heavily dependent on foreign manufacturers, creating a passive situation of lack of chips in Seoul. In the global lithography machine manufacturing landscape, Dutch company ASML has built an almost impenetrable monopoly barrier with its EUV and DUV lithography technologies. This technological hegemony is not only reflected in its absolute market share advantage but also in its comprehensive suppression of China's chip industry through stringent technological blockades and politicized commercial terms. In DUV lithography machine transactions, ASML set astonishing additional conditions, requiring Chinese companies to sign unequal commitments stating never to independently research and develop similar technologies completely blocking the path of indigenous technological innovation. Even if equipment was successfully imported, subsequent upgrade and maintenance processes were full of constraints, each equipment upgrade required American engineers to enter the factory with special software capable of data monitoring, exposing critical production line data to real-time external surveillance. The equipment malfunction handling system further exemplifies technological bullying. When a DUV lithography machine malfunctioned, Chinese companies often faced repair waiting periods lasting several months, with sea freight repairs becoming an industry norm. This deliberately extended response cycle led to forced prolonged shutdowns of production lines, causing incalculable economic losses. Yangtze Memory Technologies Corps, YMTC, experience marked a dark moment for the industry. In 2022, under direct intervention from the U.S. government, ASML disassembled already installed and debugged DUV lithography machines overnight. An advanced production line valued at 2 billion yuan instantly became idle equipment, and the entire project progress was forced to halt, severely impacting China's breakthrough plan in storage chips. This sudden technological strangulation thoroughly exposed the survival crisis caused by reliance on others for critical technologies. However, the Chinese people have never easily bowed to adversity. Facing the formidable barriers constructed by Western technological blockades, Chinese research teams have quietly worked in the field of lithography for over a decade, paving the way for breakthroughs with tens of thousands of experimental data points. On March 25, 2025, at the National Science and Technology Press Conference, the Chinese Academy of Sciences CAS, officially announced the successful development of all-solid-state DDUV lithography technology, backed by a 47-page technical white paper. This news, like a spring thunder, not only broke the 20-year technological monopoly of international giants like ASML and deep ultraviolet lithography but also unleashed a storm in the global chip industry. When the precise instruments in the laboratory successfully etched 5 nanometer chip circuit patterns, it marked a historic leap for China in core semiconductor equipment, from trailing to leading.
The all-solid-state DDUV lithography technology developed by CAS has revolutionized the high-end lithography equipment system through disruptive innovation. Its core breakthrough lies in completely decoupling from the fluorinated excimer laser that ASML's lithography machines rely on, a critical component once tightly protected by Western technological barriers. The research team found a new path, deeply leveraging China's technological accumulation in special crystal materials. They innovatively and precisely coupled self-developed YAC and KBBF crystals, successfully achieving stable output of 193 nanometer deep ultraviolet laser through nonlinear optical frequency conversion technology. In the field of equipment engineering, this system demonstrates astonishing integration through an original optical path folding design and micro-nano optical components. The equipment volume is compressed to one-third of traditional lithography systems, significantly reducing space occupation and energy consumption. More strategically significant, it has achieved a qualitative leap in process capability. After multiple rounds of wafer verification, this technology can stably support fine patterning processes for 3 nanometer chips. It not only breaks the technological monopoly of EUV lithography machines but also establishes significant advantages in cost-effectiveness and environmental adaptability, marking China's historical transition from follower to leader in core semiconductor manufacturing equipment. Ten years ago, on an ordinary morning, when Chinese scientists carefully carried out the world's only KBBF crystal from the laboratory, the entire semiconductor industry seemed to have a depth charge dropped into it. The once arrogant ASML saw its lithography machine price list plunge on the international market like a cliff dive. High end equipment that previously required a 43% premium to purchase overnight became a hot potato that sales representatives scrambled to offload. In the conference room at the Dutch headquarters, executives looked at each other, facing continuously declining order data. For the first time, a shadow of fear appeared on faces that had once been filled with arrogance. This technological game is far from over. Now, the topological charge beam detection technology developed by CAS is reshaping industry standards with a disruptive posture. In the clean room of the Shanghai Zhangjiang Laboratory, this equipment can precisely capture 0.1 nanometer defects on the chip surface, improving accuracy by nearly three orders of magnitude compared to ASML's existing detection solutions. Like observing an ant's antennae with the Hubble telescope, this dimension-reducing strike-like breakthrough is akin to piloting a fifth-generation stealth fighter J-20 to overwhelmingly crush World War II-era propeller planes, completely rewriting the competitive landscape of chip manufacturing. In terms of cost, the semiconductor equipment market has long been monopolized by Dutch company ASML. Its EUV lithography machines firmly occupy the industry's commanding heights due to their cutting-edge technology. An EUV lithography machine costs as much as $150 million, equivalent to over 1 billion renminbi, and because global annual production is only a few dozen units, buyers often need to queue up years in advance to order. What's more astonishing is that its subsequent maintenance services adopt a bundled billing model, with single repair costs often reaching several million dollars, and full lifecycle maintenance costs equivalent to three to five times the equipment's selling price, making it a gold-devouring beast in the semiconductor industry. In contrast, China's independently developed solid-state DDUV lithography technology adopts a modular design and a localized component supply chain fundamentally compressing cost margins. According to authoritative estimates, the manufacturing cost per unit of this technology is reduced by over 60% compared to EUV, and the full lifecycle maintenance cost is only 25%. This means that the future market price of domestically produced lithography machines is expected to drop below $50 million, achieving a price cut in half compared to imported equipment. This breakthrough will have a revolutionary impact on the global chip industry landscape. In Southeast Asia, emerging semiconductor manufacturing countries like Vietnam and Malaysia are facing development bottlenecks due to excessively high equipment procurement costs. Currently, chip factories in these countries have single production line equipment investments exceeding $1 billion, 
and equipment depreciation costs account for over 40% of chip production costs. The emergence of solid-state DDUV lithography technology provides them with a cost-effective alternative. The head of a wafer fabrication plant under construction in Penang, Malaysia, revealed that they have reached an agreement to cooperate with a Chinese company and plan to purchase three solid-state DDUV lithography machines, expecting to save over $200 million in plant construction funds. This trend indicates that the global chip industry supply chain is about to usher in a new wave of restructuring. Today, when the 193 nanometer immersion laser beam precisely etches the first 3 nanometer circuit pattern on the wafer surface, this decade-long technological battle finally reaches its dawn. Under the microscope, the nanoscale lines resemble intricately carved artworks, each pattern embodying the wisdom of the research team's 1,628 days and nights of dedicated work, from millions of optical system debugging attempts to hundreds of rounds of photoresist formula iterations, and to breaking through the extreme ultraviolet light source technology blockade. Countless researchers have cultivated this technological fertile ground with their sweat. This breakthrough achievement by CAS is like a golden key that unlocks industrial dilemmas. It not only brings new hope to China's chip industry but also demonstrates China's determination for technological self-reliance to the world. The success of this technology means that China has completed a leap from following to running alongside in the field of lithography, with the localization rate of its core components increasing to 78%, effectively filling the domestic technological gap in high-end lithography equipment. Looking ahead, the full-chain industrial system built upon this technology will help China's chip industry gradually break free from its dependence on foreign technologies. It is expected that within three to five years, the market share of domestically produced lithography machines is likely to increase to 30 percent, driving the collaborative development of over 2,000 upstream and downstream enterprises and forming an independent and controllable chip manufacturing ecosystem. This technological revolution, which began in the laboratory, will ultimately engrave China's mark on the global chip industry map.